And what about failures? Is there any open? Failures, uh, I would say 95% of the time are design related. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're related to ambient conditions. Uh, but that's why we have our service organization. But what happens? For example, if the model, if something breaks or stops, so what was that? Which that's part? Nice. Because what do you define as a failure, right? Some of these whistles are failures from a quality perspective in that you know, like the, the line's a little bit off. Is that a failure? Or are you talking about a catastrophic type of failure? No, for example... Like somebody took a sledgehammer to the machine. No, there are always something with the machines. Uh, there might be a situation that, for example, it just stops and you don't have uh, any, any chance to... You cannot go to the place where the machine is standing uh, to, to, for example, restart it. Uh, so what, what happens then? So if it just stopped because of an internet connection, and then your internet no, came no, power? No, there might be multiple problems. Like, uh, it just crashed. Yeah, for example, the, the, the our machines don't crash like that. Those, those, a lot of those problems have been completely engineered out. Mm -hmm. What you see happening with the problems that you're used to with a 3D printer are typically driven by human error. Mm -hmm. And there's no human that could cause error with this system because it's completely automated. So a lot of the factors that normally cause a 3D printer to break have a lot to do with people not knowing what they're doing when they touch the thing. And they start twisting on knobs, they tighten screws. That type of stuff causes a lot more failures. And by never having a human touch it other than to get the parts or put new plastic in, it drastically reduces the number of failure modes. And we've designed a really robust machine. So our print head doesn't crash into corners and stuff like that. And if there is a failure mode like that, we have a live video feed in our service organization in the US we can remotely log into your printer and help you diagnose any of the issues that you're facing, even if you're not in the same room with it. And you, as a customer, can do the same thing. Granted, not here at the Golden Tulip because of the, the Wi-Fi, can't see the video, but normally you can see the video, and when you can see the video, you get a very good picture of what's going on in your printer. And I think we're running out of time, right? Okay, that's what he came in for, to kick us all out. So thank you guys very much. If you want, please come and get some whistles.